Hello guys, in today's video, we're going to present to you the top 10 best self-defense knives available on the market today. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers. Check out the description to find out their prices and more information. We've included the links in the description below. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the daily video notification. So, without further ado, let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have called Bar BK22 Becker Companion Fixed Blade Knife. A solid all-around knife, perfect for self-defense, but also adapted well for survival scenarios. The blade is constructed from 1095 high carbon steel. Like most cow bars, it has an overall length of 10-1-2 inches, so while it would work well for a high-stress defense situation, it obviously isn't the best option for everyone. The scales are 100% synthetic, and if you can carry a longer blade for self-defense, this one will serve you well. The extended pommel can be used to shatter glass or pound tent stakes. It doubles as a means to wound instead of kill, when a pop to the scalp will be plenty to deter an attacker, allowing time to get away and call the police. The included sheath will attach to a bell without removing it first, which is a nice feature for those places where you would rather leave it in the car. Moving on to the next at number 2 with MTech USA MT588 Series Fixed Blade Neck Knife. If you are looking for something a little smaller, check out this spear point from MTech. A neck knife designed for stabbing. The finger hole provides a solid grip so you can stick and get away. It also serves as part of the locking mechanism that keeps it safely in sheet by clicking into place. 4.25 inches overall and carved from coated stainless steel, so it shouldn't ever rust. The sheath also has a pocket clip in places where round the neck carry isn't suggested. The edges aren't very sharp, but this isn't exactly designed for cutting or whittling. Even if it isn't your primary defense tool, it makes a great backup at a very low price. The number 3 position is held by MTech USA MT 2014 Series Fixed Blade Neck Knife. If while looking at the previous choices, one was too long and one was too short, then this blade from MTech should be just right. 6.5 inches overall. This little dagger makes a wonderful protection piece, and the sheath is made from hard plastic and attachable just about anywhere you would want. Five cord holes around the belt and webbing spaces. Even though it's considered a neck knife, it could easily function on a boot, a backpack, a belt, or anywhere else you can fit it. If you want a simple stick and twist self-defense solution, this knife is for you, and at this price it's hard to ask for much more from MTech. Next at number 4 we have Kalbar TDI Compact Knife. The Kalbar TDI is one of the most common self-defense knives carried by law enforcement. The grip of the knife makes the knife very secure in hand and very difficult for someone to dislodge the knife from your hand. It is designed to be a weak side knife, meaning the knife sits inside a sheath on your weak side. So, if you're right-handed it will go on the left. Reaching across the body can be more comfortable in some instances, or if you're tied up in a fight you can use your dominant hand to keep the attacker off you as you draw the knife with your weak hand. There are many ways to hold this knife. I recommend searching on YouTube or do a Google search for the best ways if you do plan on buying this knife. This is also a good secondary knife for camping or backpacking. You can get it with a serrated blade or straight blade. The number 5 position is held by CRKTM2114. The CRKTM21 and M16 series was designed by the famous blade designer Kit Carson and are some of the most awarded knives as of recent and they've got a really interesting heritage to boot. What's really special about using these as a self-defense weapon is that they are basically designed from the ground up with your protection in mind. The M21 features a hilt on both sides that you will also use to quickly deploy the knife. A lot of pocket knives don't have that hilt in order to save on weight or space but in a self-defense situation where you're frantic and the adrenaline is pumping. It's nice to have that buffer between your hand and the blade. What makes the SF14 version unique is that it's the Special Forces Edition with triple point serrations. Now, the SF part is more of an appearance aspect than anything else but I do prefer the triple point serrations over the VEF serrations. The SF Edition is a Kit Carson exclusive design consisting of a Skeleton i6061-6 aluminum frame, and it comes with a tactical four-way carry clip. 
The number 6 position is dominated by Spyderco Harpy Single Blade, with a 2.75 inch blade and an overall length of 6.5 inches. This is one of the smaller knives on this list. That said, this little knife has a wickedly sharp VG10 steel blade that can inflict some serious damage. Be extremely careful when handling this knife. If you so much brush the blade, you will be left with a nasty cut. I can't even imagine the amount of damage a slash from this knife would do, due to the fact that this knife is a little smaller than most self-defense knives out there. It is a popular choice among women, and guys with smaller hands that find larger knives feel awkward in hand. The clip on the knife allows it to attach comfortably on the pan pocket or on the belt. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Kershaw Brawler. Small, inexpensive, but extremely mighty. The Kershaw Brawler is exactly what its name suggests. The three tanto consisting of eight Cathergene Mav steel is purpose built to be used in close contact when things get dangerous and you need a little extra something to get yourself out of a hairy situation. These tanto blades are made for one thing and one thing only, to cause extreme amounts of damage to an assailant, and that's what this knife was designed to do. Of course, it has a little utility value, but make no mistake. This is a full-on egg self-defense package and is built as such but at a ridiculously low price tag for its high-quality materials and excellent craftsmanship. Kershaw never disappoints me. The blade is covered in matte black oxide corrosion-resistant stuff and is both extremely durable with very good edge retention at this price point. The knife itself is equipped with a spring-loaded speed-safe assisted opening feature that is lightning fast to utilize with the thumb pack. Included in the deal is a multi-positional pocket clip and a decent inline locking mechanism all completely comfortable and quick to use with one hand. This bad boy is ready for anything in case you are actually in a brawl and you have to do a little conflict management with the other hand. The number eight position is held by Fox Knives G10 Karambit with Emerson Wave. While I don't usually recommend Karambit style knives for self-defense, they can be effective if the knife operator is trained properly. They're small, easy to conceal, and are very difficult for opponents to dislodge from the wielder's hand. Plus, everyone needs a badass Karambit knife in their collection. This knife literally almost turns you into a Velociraptor. A Karambit is a small curved knife that resembles a claw, inspired by the claws of a tiger. If you take a look at knives and other weapons, you'll find most of the best weapons and blade designs can be found in nature, and a Karambit is no exception. This Karambit is quite expensive, you can find a cheaper Karambit below in this review. They are traditionally fixed blade, but there are modern variations with folding blades. And I really like that this one has the Emerson Wave technology that automatically deploys the blade when caught on the edge of a pan pocket. Next at number nine, we have Spyderco Endora for Wave. This is certainly not the best looking knife on this list, but what it lacks in looks it makes up with functionality. It has the Emerson Wave style opener, which means this blade will deploy as fast, if not faster than an automatic knife. The super strong blade is made from VG10 steel which offers a good balance between edge retention and ease of sharpening. It has a 13 opening hole for your thumb that makes opening and closing the knife a little easier. The fiberglass reinforced nylon handle is molded with bi-direction texturing that offers an amazing grip. Spydercall also makes this blade with a partially serrated if that is what you prefer. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Spyderco Yojimbo 2 pocket knife. The Yajimbo 2 was designed by a personal defense instructor Michael Janish for self-defense. It's also decent for egg can doing simple tasks, like opening boxes or envelopes, but do not it is designed for as a knife for self-defense. The blade is thin and dash chip easier than knives specifically designed for egg. But if you really need it, it's there. It's a nice size knife that easily fits in a pocket and is easy to carry. The blade is good for cutting, slashing, and stabbing. I like the compression lock and liners on this knife. You aren't going to have to worry about the blade collapsing or breaking off from the knife when you need it most. The spidey hole in the blade, as well as the design, makes the knife easy to collapse and open without your fingers ever having to be in the path of the blade. You can use the knife with a standard grip that is probably better used in the overhand or ice pick grip. It has a handy four-way clip for tip-up or tip-down carry. I like how the shape of the knife is thin at the top and wider at the bottom and almost guides a hand into the pocket onto the knife. We upload all types of survival, camping, and hunting product review videos every single day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.